Hello and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. Oh, we have the world. So happy Cancer season, Cancer. We have the world card. I was just thinking, oh, it's really watery energy at the moment. And I love this, the world, the fulfillment and celebration. This is your reading for July. And happy birthday if you are beautiful July Cancer. Cancerian, I guess, is the, the word. But yeah, look at that. I, this is one of my favorite cards. This beautiful whale is just diving deep into the waters, deep into the waters of fulfillment, deep into the waters of celebration. Yeah, of course it's cancer season. Of course we're celebrating you. Of course we're diving deep into that. Whether you're feeling this around you or not, the universe is sending you love. It's sending you this sense of you are deeply celebrated as a soul on this earth. It's a really, really beautiful energy of feeling like even if it's not something you're feeling on earth, and hopefully this is something you are feeling, I feel like there's energies outside of earth or on the other side that are sending you. So I'm just feeling a lot of love being sent through. I'm feeling it in my heart chakra to Cancerians celebrating your existence. So absolutely the sun is shining, which brings vitality and joy. The sun is in your sign, which is really fantastic. So yeah, the sun is in your sign. I love this because the sun is in the water. We're in the water sign of cancer and when you have your solar return, when the sun is in cancer and it returns to the place where you were born, you get injected with all this life force energy for another 12 months. And so this sun brings clarity, vitality, joy, life force, soul purpose. So it's a beautiful, beautiful energy that's coming in here with this. And I just love uh, the whale's mouth is open. So it feels like, you know, whales just open their mouths and all the krill goes in. They feed by opening up, by opening their mouths, even by a sense that I'm kind of getting opening your heart, but also opening your throat chakra. I'm getting that a lot for you, Cancer, and speaking your truth. Speaking your truth or expressing yourself is something that could really feed your soul. Also, your diet, I'm getting coming in with this as well. Be aware of what is coming into your body, what you're consuming, what is your body saying, yes, I'm loving this, this is really feeding me, this is really feeling nourishing and emotional replenishing and strengthening and just listen to that listen to the things the messages that you're getting and they're kind of saying that they want you to receive the good the good stuff the good messages the good uh, things that can really feed your soul so what's shifting and changing for you? Cup four, Neptune, Cancer. Okay, so a lot of water, like we said, the four of cups here, and we have Neptune in Pisces. So that's also a very watery energy and it rules Pisces. So the four of cups is where you are almost like the opposite of this with the whale. It's where you are not feeling fulfilled or you're not opening up to something that's on offer here emotionally or feeling like it's when you're feeling bored or dissatisfied or restless or something stirring within you for a change in some way. It's kind of that sense of a deep stirring like, hmm, I'm searching for something, I'm feeling it. So, and yeah, I'm feeling it deep in my waters. So interesting, Cancer, interesting. But the emotional foundations are changing here. So let's see what shift, what's, uh, what else is coming in for you for Cancer. So Cancer, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you a more holistic view of what's going on for you. And this is a general reading, Cancer. Just take what feels right, leave the rest. And if it does really resonate, there will be an extended reading. And the link for that is in the description box below where we'll be looking further into the future and deeper into the reading, getting more messages. Look, it all just came out in one big chunk. <laughs> so we're going to see where this goes. You're turning up as the two of swords. What are you uncertain about or who are you uncertain about? Because there's some kind of communication or message coming in that you're not sure about. Boom, the tower, unexpected. Even Knight of Cups again about following your heart, the Ten of Wands. We're going to have a lot of cards here. What <laughs> the Four of Pentacles? This is almost like an extended reading. The Queen of Wands. Let's get it all out for you here. The Magician. Ooh, manifesting, doing some serious manifesting. Boom, bossing up. 
with the emperor into fulfillment, the devil, and the lover's card. Ooh, and the hierophant. Okay, now deep, deep choices, big choices about fulfillment here, about making the right choices this time. Especially some of you, there's like a bit of a father vibes. I'm kind of getting. There might be, uh, um, I don't often get gender in reading, so but for whatever reason I'm getting father or grandfather or some kind of uh, male figure, like authority figure that somehow you're manifesting something with this, like some kind of male in your life that, or somebody that has authority in your life that, not a divine masculine, let's put it that way, that uh, could bring fulfillment. So let's see, let's see, let's see what's coming in. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune as the main situation. The Wheel of Fortune brings luck. It brings change. It brings expansion. So it can see that something's at a turning point. And I do see there's an emotional shift that's coming in here because you're crossed by the Ten of Cups, which is, is the card of happiness. So... It's like, are you happy or are you not happy with a situation? Sometimes you can be happy and it's like, well, I don't really want to shift and change. I don't really want to expand and grow. I'm happy with where I'm at and I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at and I don't really want to have to do that. That can come through with this as well. On the other foot, it could be I'm really not happy and something needs to change. So it could be either one of those situations. Just see what fits best for you. Uh, in your conscious mind, we've got the Page of Swords. Uh, so the Page of Swords is very much messages coming in. So there's new things you're learning, new information that is coming through, new messages, perhaps there's someone new you're talking to or messaging with the Page of Swords, but very open and curious mind. So lots of new, fresh energy happening there inside your mind. At the base, we've got the Four of Wands. I do feel like there's a lot of relationship stuff in this reading because this is happy home, happy heart. So what's happening deep down is, again, we've got the four. You've got the, you're crowned by a four and you've got a four deep down, which is suggesting that perhaps you're looking at home, emotional foundations, how you're feeling about where you're living, who you're living with, what area you're living with, how, how safe you're feeling. And, uh, yeah, definitely there's dynamics, foundations of what you want and how you're feeling about what it is that you want that are coming in here. And it actually feels like a very nice sort of gentle nudge from the universe saying, hey, isn't it time to kind of evolve and move to the next step or move on to the next thing? And there's a part of you, I think, that's kind of going, no, I don't want to do that, maybe. But, uh, yeah, it feels like there's an opportunity for your heart to expand and grow here. And you're getting the messages. You're getting a sense of I can really shift some foundations here in my life. In the recent past, we've got the Seven of Swords. So this is very much a sense that there's been plans afoot. There's been things that have been happening. This can even be deception. So if there's been someone around you that's uh, been keeping their cards close to their chest or even deceiving you, or there has been deception in the past, perhaps that's something that leads up to this point now. But the Seven of Swords is, yeah, interesting. It just feels like there has been... It's kind of like mentally what I'm getting with this is you've been mentally moving towards this situation of the Wheel of Fortune for a while now and whether you want to admit it to yourself or talk, admit it to somebody else or tell somebody else about it, it's like you've been heading mentally in this direction at this turning point for a while where it's kind of like I've kind of known or been thinking about it for a while. So in the near future, we've got this Four of Cups again. We can see the character has got the arms blocked. I don't want that cup on offer anymore. So it's very much uh, like a, a sense that something that was feeling good and fulfilling is suddenly not feeling as good uh, or fulfilling because you've been called to dive into this new energy like the whale, deep into fulfillment, deep into celebration. So if something's not feeling right, listen to that message, listen to that message of your heart because it's showing you the, the new path 
the new direction that's coming in here where you can dive deeper. So it's no wonder you're turning up as the two of swords because there's a little bit of hesitation around this. This is, I'm not sure, I'm not certain, I can't decide. <laughs> uh, the two of swords, yeah, which direction, what to choose. Because, yeah, I think that there's some really good reasons to kind of stay where in the emotional space that you're at uh, as well. But sometimes you stay in a comfort zone for the right reasons. Some Sometimes you stay in it for the wrong reasons. And whatever happens, this tower card is saying, boom, no more comfort zone. <laughs> Things have to shift and change. So it's Time's up with the tower card. The Wheel of Fortune gives you the time, the opportunity to expand and grow. The tower doesn't. It kind of says, boom, something needs to shift and change. So there's either some kind of revelation or something unexpected or even shocking that comes in with the tower, which precipitates this change. Now, interesting, the tower can be the constricted space. It can be the barriers that you put up around you and the barriers are coming down. The Four of Cups has the barriers up. I'm not necessarily that emotionally open to this, this new challenge or this new opportunity that's coming through. But the tower is very much wanting you to open your heart to it. And that's the energy, the hopes and fears we have, the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, it really is encouraging you to listen to your heart. The Knight of Cups is love and romance. It's following your heart. It's listening to your intuition. It's following your dreams. So it really is a sense of I want to do it. I want to listen to my heart and take action with my heart, but also I don't. <laughs> so there's, there's a bit of both of that. It's like I want it, but I also yeah have to get out of my comfort zone. So the Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, another four, and the Queen of Wands. So Ten of, ten of uh, Wands is saying, again, there's been some kind of It's taken hard work. It's hard work for you to have got to where you are at this moment in time. It's like, I want to hold on to that. I want to hold on to it. But the message is, what are you holding on to for fear of letting go? Because things could actually get better. Things could get better. There could be more of what you need coming in. And this Queen of Wands knows it too. So that's the part of you. This is the part that wants to hold on to the old. This is the part that wants to go looking for the new, searching, attracting the new energy in. So, yeah, the Queen of Wands. And it may be that, you know, you want to hold on to it how it is at this moment in time because the Queen of Wands is a warm energy. It's someone around that you feel warm or you feel passionate about or that you really truly love or it just makes you feel good. Usually it's a feel-good person that you're very attracted to. It doesn't have to necessarily be like a sexual or love attraction, but it's just like sometimes you want to be around people. They could just be friends that make you feel good. The Queen of Wands person brings that beautiful sense of my heart's feeling warm and happy around that person. So it's like, yeah, there's a, there's a part that wants to hold on to how it is. But we have the Magician, the Emperor and the Nine of Cups and... This is where it's like you have been given this gift of potent manifestation here of saying you can manifest what it is that you want in like a dream partner or uh, a dream boss or a dream dynamic, however that plays out, whether you are the boss or not. But it's like I can manifest something that's really fulfilling and I feel like I've got the power to do that. And so this Queen of Wands steps into her power, is not afraid to let go, is not afraid to put in the hard work and dedicate herself to the new. And so it feels like a shift of energy occurs at this very incredibly potent energy to say you have all the elements within you to manifest what it is that you want. So don't be scared of that. Don't be scared of your own power because you have all these amazing elements within you and around you to bring this fulfillment into your life. So here we have the devil next to the lover's card. Look at these two cards together. The devil is the choice that was made that didn't work out and the lover's is the new choice. They're both very similar looking. Uh, <laughs> but in the lover's card, the character has the choice, whereas in the devil card, 
the character is bound and feels like they can't make a choice. And it's almost like giving yourself permission to choose, to choose what you really want, to choose to manifest, to step into your power and manifest something that brings deep fulfillment. And so, yeah, it's overcoming fears, making the right choice, but I still get it's like you're not bound by something you can choose. You definitely can choose. And so we have as an overall energy the Hierophant. This is the card of commitments. It's also the card of marriage or long-term partnership as well. So maybe this is something around that that's coming in here that you are choosing something that you truly desire or a situation that you want to be the foundation in your life that is bringing you this fulfillment, which is bringing you this celebration. So if anything around you is not fitting that, then whilst I'm feeling a little bit of resistance of, okay, that was, it's still a safety, a comfort zone. I'm safe in that, but I'm not fulfilled in that. So it's like having the courage to step out of that. The Hierophant is about belief systems as well, outside of you, what other people have taught you to believe or other institutions or, yeah, religions even, organized, some kind of organized belief. So it's where you're learning to really believe in yourself. You have the power to choose what it is you want and to get what it is that you want here. And that is really this four of wands, the happy home, happy heart. So the universe is kind of giving you a gift and saying, here's your birthday gift. It's like a wish, like the genie gives you the wish, the magician gives you the wish. You've got one wish. What do you want that to be? You can potently manifest whatever you want what do you want that to be? The only caveat, the only condition is you have to choose that and you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe it to be true. So that's kind of the, it's like you've got some kind of magic fairy godmother around. So let's pull an affirmation card for you, Cancer, and see what is coming in. And I feel like I'm feeling this particularly if you are a, a, your son is in cancer. So if you're having a birthday, on the day of your birthday, make a wish. I know that sounds like a huge cliche. I don't get that in readings normally, but I feel like that is the time where this is most potent. So have a time to activate this on that day uh, or the day where the sun, if you're a cancer moon or rising, that will be on the same degree that the sun is at your degree of uh, ascendant or moon sign. I hope that makes sense for those of you into astrology. So we've got, I release all fears and doubts. There will be a particular day that is going to be like, boom, this is the day that it's going to be so powerful. I release all fears and doubts. That's what the devil is, the fears. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I am loved and I am safe. Beautiful, Cancer. Okay, so let's pull a charm for you. Let's pull a charm, okay, for Cancer, birthday charm or Cancer season charm. We are moving into Leo. Oh, that fully fell out. The angel wing, okay. The mystery of the fallen angel, which is actually the devil, isn't it? But it's right next to the angel of the lover's card. So again, there's kind of a bit of religious belief systems that could be coming up and stories that could be coming up around that about good and bad and evil and all that sort of stuff. But I get there's untapped potential, there's untapped power, there's untapped ambitions here. And it's understanding that that is good. That is good. It's beautiful. There's a gift from the divine coming down. And for those of you who are looking for the missing angel wing or the other half, there's going to be signs and symbols around that coming through as well. So messages from the divine coming in and guiding you, Cancer. So that is your reading because I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. We're seeing that you are overcoming your fears to make a choice here and maybe overcoming some belief systems about what's good and what's bad and or what's good for you and what isn't. And we kind of left on the cliffhanger of just about to make a very significant choice or being able to 
know that you can choose. So where is that all going? We're going to explore, explore it further into the future and get more messages for you in the extended reading cancer. So love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below. Usually pin the link to the comments as well. Wish each other happy birthday if you're a Cancerian. It's nice to share the love. We have Venus in your sign as well. And so it's just beautiful and Mercury at this moment. So let's just enjoy all of that beautiful Cancerian energy. And all of that helps with the growth of the channel as well. And please take care, Cancer.